no <laughs> hey guys hey. we're back i was just yawning so um today we're gonna go over everything we're packing for the hospital it is the final few weeks <laughs> we're freak i'm freaking out Every, a bit. everyone around us who is has similar due dates has uh, had their babies yeah have have had them already yeah so we realized we should probably pack all of our stuff um I, we've been kind of packing along the way or at least getting stuff Benji's gonna be freaking out. Um, so we have pretty much everything now. So we're gonna go through, and I'll, I guess I'll try to explain because I've asked some people who've had their babies, like, oh, is there anything else I should bring? Um, and so we've kind of gotten some advice from people who've literally had their babies like in the last few days. We also um, went to a like a birthing class, yeah. which had a lot of information and kind of has like a little sheet of like what you should bring. Oh, or, the like, checklist. Yeah, a little checklist. So. Uh oh, Benji's gonna go crazy. <laughs> Benji. Um, so I guess we'll start, um, let's do the baby's bag first and then we'll, we'll go through mine and yours. Okay. So I decided to pack the baby's bag separate so that, <laughs> and this is a status anxiety bag, an Australian brand. Um, it's a backpack too. So I'm bringing a suitcase. We're both bringing suitcases and then this bag for the baby. Um, the suitcases will make sense. So we'll go over that later. Um, but yeah, in the baby's bag, we're bringing, I have like a giraffe theme book theme going. I don't really know why. Um, and then our nieces picked That's out two of these. So height. yeah, the, so the giraffe theme you'll see, um, but we got this little jelly cat. I, I want this for a photo with him, um, next to it, but we brought these just cause I don't know. And they're cute. And then our nieces, nieces picked that. out these. So we have two of these, one for home, and then we're going to take one to the hospital. Um, and then I have, when we went to Prego Expo, I got this blanket and it's giraffe, um, double-sided. And this also counts yeah, as like really a, cool. a nursing um, thing, thing, swaddle, all the things. So bringing that mostly for a photo, but I also am like not freaking out if I don't get a photo at the hospital. I'll just take one when we, when we get home, but figured why not have it? Um, a muslin burp cloth and this is kind of a um like a safari theme i got this on amazon so i'll link up as much of this as possible um below oh my god take these out you can put it back in this bag is also massive and so cool it has so many pockets so those two go there so those will go there <laughs> this is also for blake to know where everything is because i've been like packing like crazy um, and then I have this little coterie, little compartment thing. Um, and in this, I mean, you don't have to bring a lot of this stuff. This is kind of just a preference thing because they have diapers and stuff like that at the hospital. But just in case I have some little coterie diapers, these are in the newborn size, um, just in case he has sensitive skin or I decide to be psychotic and only want him in these. So I'm bringing that, these. I got little pacifiers because someone told me to do this and these like your finger goes in it so you can make sure mm. and they're so cute little blue ones <laughs> so i got two of those um a little pack of coterie wipes as well and then some diaper balm and again i'm pretty sure they have a lot of this depending on your hospital you can ask them this is just if you feel like bringing your own and using it because of personal preference so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel and I might be super protective and want everything to be whatever I've yeah, picked it'll, out, so. It all, you know, work itself out. Yeah, but I'm like preparing for crazy, Jamie. So I'm just like. It's good to have it. Yeah, I mean, it's he's good. A peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind. And that's what like I've been all about this whole pregnancy is like just whatever makes me more chill and relaxed. So that's what yeah, we're you doing. Yeah, just wanna feel comfortable. Yeah. And then next I have a little pack of his outfits. So I, when I went to the hair salon, someone told me to get this. It's called a Joey Joey band and Joey like kangaroo, like a baby kangaroo, <laughs> which I thought was funny. But it's basically, again, this is like just an extra step if you feel like taking it. But if your labor takes forever and you're really tired and um, a lot of, not a lot, but there's been um, a, quite a few cases of babies falling off the mom because the mom's so tired and she's like, her arms are tired, all the things. So I got this just in case. I think a swaddle would work as well, but I got this just because I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks. So I'll link it. Again, this is just me being overly pre preparing. Um, and then I have 
three of these little H&M like basics onesies. Um, my friend said that most of the time your baby's just naked um, or in like a diaper, so don't bring too many outfits, but I want a lot of outfits. So I brought, I'm gonna bring onesies. Obviously I'm gonna bring this little kite baby one that has cats all over it because like, oh, so obviously cute. that needs to be his first <laughs> outfit, right? <laughs> like, oh, they're just so cute. And so I'm packing ones that, because we don't know how long he's gonna be and judging by us, he is probably gonna be pretty long. So I'm packing some without feet and without little hands, but also you can tuck his little hands in if we want. Um, and then this one has the same, has feet, so that I don't have to pack little socks or feety things. And this one can wrap around his hands too. And then I just am bringing a few different colors and types of like, this one has no feet, um, and then like an all white one, and then I'm bringing a little beanie for his little head. But he has a little all white outfit that I want his like first photo to be in, which is like a little white onesie and then the little giraffe blanket and like his giraffe next to him. Mm. That's what I've like kind of planned out. <laughs> so I'm not like looking forward to- I believe that's what to... you've been thinking about. That's exactly <laughs> what I've been thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I just been thinking of, of like, just getting, just getting cuddling you. Oh, I'm like worried about what he's gonna oh like gosh. wear home 100%. <laughs> So anyways, oh this is his little bag. Um, and the giraffe. So, and then, yeah, then the giraffe. So he has like a little oh, giraffe theme. Stuff. Yeah. And then this can go here. So anyways, half of this I don't think you really need, but again, do whatever makes you feel comfortable and prepared, which this is what I've decided. So toiletries, obviously. <laughs> Our doctor um, said it would, will most likely be there for like two to three nights, like all up. So we're kind of prepping for that long. And that's like on the normal end of like when you go into labor and then like when you leave. So yeah. we're kind of prepping for like two or three days or two or three nights total. You can see Charlie in the window. Oh my God, <laughs> Charlie's in the window. Um, yeah, so toiletries, so just, you know, toothbrush, all floss, the yeah, just the regular stuff. Um, then we were advised to bring our own towels, but that's just kind of like a personal thing again, like if you want to feel comfortable. Yeah. So towels. Um, our friend who recently, who had the same uh, due date, well, Christmas due date, and just went she in. She just had just her had baby, baby, so, so 12, days, weeks early. <laughs> 12 days early. Um, but she said it was really cold the whole time, so. Sweatshirt. Jumper. Yeah. And then obviously just clothes. I just have like a bunch of like loose kind of casual, almost like workout, like shorts and then just like t-shirts and stuff just to stay warm, but like comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then I'm probably, we have like some blankets we're going to pack as well because of the cold thing. And then just probably take like a pillow or two. Yeah. Just because, yeah. She said like, if, like, if she's kind of like fussy like us with how she likes to sleep. So she was like, take your own pillows, take a bunch of blankets. I get cold. Not right now, but she was like, when you get an epidural, if you end up doing that, you will be freezing. So definitely like pack extra blankets. And she's like, pack one for Blake, but you'll probably end up stealing it. So maybe pack a third one. So we're gonna try to pack as many blankets as we can because we're really weird about textures and blankets and stuff. So yeah, and I and like being cold is just the worst. Yeah, it's the worst and being uncomfortable. So but, but that's why we t we have the suitcases to fit all the blankets. Yeah, much. yeah, pretty much and <laughs> all my things. But um, then, then obviously I have my laptop and and chargers and phone charger and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, and I have I my favorite blanket ever. I will put it in the description. It's from Amazon, but yeah, they're like huge and heavy and really soft. So I'll I'll show you guys that. Well, it's this. Um, so I have it in white, brown, and then this multicolor. So this is going to be for me and it's super soft and like, I just love it so much. Um, and I guess I'll go through mine when I'm bringing. So blanket, <laughs> Squishmallow, don't judge me, but I like, whenever I travel, I have to have a Squishmallow. It's just like a comfort thing, I think, cause yeah. I like sleep with one every night. So it'll just make me feel, I think like. Just at ease a little bit. Yeah, just at home. I don't know. And it's a cat, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash all of this as well before we go, but I definitely need a Squishmo to either take naps with or just to have as like a home comfort thing. Um, and then I got the Boppy nursing pillow. Uh, my friend said she forgot hers and it was like her biggest regret. So I have this, I have different covers for it for at home, but this is like the one I'm gonna bring. 
um, for like nursing and stuff. Benji, mm -hmm. Benji's like, don't leave. I think you're going on a trip. <laughs> but yeah, this one's huge, goes around you and then the baby sits on it. Love that. Everyone says to bring your own, so I'm going to do that. Um, my toiletries. And I got this cool thing on Amazon recently, but it like opens like that, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm packing, some of this is like TMI, but I think, again, I'm overpacking a little, but I don't really care. Um, I have the, I'll link all this as well. This is the, I can't even remember the name of it, but it squirts um, and cleans your hoo-ha afterwards. It has like a little up thing. And this is from Frida, Frida Mom. Um, but yeah, this is going to be. Going to pack the adult diapers also. Yes, I have the diapers. I have my normal skincare. Cream I got an extra long charger. Everyone says to do that. I, I also packed um, some like belly and boob oil because they say that your boobs like grow really fast when your milk comes in. So you get stretch marks. So I packed this and like a nipple cream from this. Earth Earth Mama. And then the bio oil little mini travel size. And then the rest is just my normal toiletries. Oh, this is so weird. It's like packing for a trip that you don't know when you're gonna go on. <laughs> and it's just so weird. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just <laughs> very prepared. Um, and then this is, I'm bringing my own breast pump. I got the medulla um, for like the one that plugs into the wall. Everyone says it's like, my doctors specifically said to get this one because um, it's really strong and you're gonna have to read the instructions because I couldn't be bothered. But I'm bringing that. Um, they have them there, they said, but I kind of just wanted my own. And then I have portable ones that I'll use at home, but they said this one's like the strongest for like getting your milk going. So packing that. So I got a blood colored towel, like the cutest blood colored towel I could get. Cause everyone says if like pack one you don't care about, um, cause I will probably be bleeding and a lot of weird things. So I, I bought this from Target just to have and like throw away. And I have some hand towels for at home as well. So I'm gonna bring that. Also happens to match my nursing pillow if you didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> and then, all the fun things, there's my diapers. So I have a couple different pairs of diapers. Um, my friend gave me a, a couple, like a pack that she said she really liked. Um, the hospital also has them, but this is like, again, a personal preference thing. So I'm packing a few different kinds. I have the Frida ones, which are like the boxer briefs. And then I have, um, I can't remember the name of these, but I'll find them. Um, and then I'm bringing a little portable fan because everyone says you get really hot during like contractions and pushing and stuff. So this can hook on to like the um, bed and it has a charger, which we'll have to like plug in. Goose, gonna come help? Um, and then besides that, I packed a couple nursing bras, mom cozy, and I got a couple from Target. And then I brought some like um, underwear for afterwards. Everyone said you won't want thongs. So I bought some like granny panty vibes. Um, I'm also bringing these cooling gels, medulla, same brand as my pump. So these are supposed to be good for, I think your nipples, yeah. It's cooling and all that. So I'm just kind of going off of other videos I've seen and what people have recommended for me. Um, my cute diapers. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Um, and then besides that, um, my friend said when she got an epidural, which I plan on getting if it's a possibility, um, she said her feet got really cold, but she also needed to like walk around and like socks get really dirty. So, um, I got some of these slippers from Amazon. I have a pair already for home. So I, I just ordered a second pair just in case. Um, but they're like socks slash have like grippies on the bottom for walking around. Um, cause you do need to be like active and stuff. Um, during labor and then again this is something you can put on when you get home but this is like the um stomach wrap thing Impression thing. yeah and again it's not for like vain reasons it's because sometimes people said like your stomach is just like like so loose afterwards you almost want something to just feel like you're like in like firm again so some people said to bring this some people said it didn't matter till you got home but i'm gonna bring it again just in case um and i got the tan color because I have black will get cat hair all over it. Um, I'm bringing a bump suit little set like the one I'm wearing now, but in gray because in case I like leak or anything 
through it, I have this because this is like going to be my going home outfit because I really like wearing these and they're really comfy. Yeah. Um, and then I have um, my Mason Gray and it's like a little tank dress and then a robe for like um, nursing. But everyone says also that nurses are like checking your downstairs. Yeah. Nurses are checking yeah. like downstairs a lot. So if you have a dress, like sometimes that's good or like a robe. Um, so I'm gonna have that just in case um, to have the option of that. And then I just have another outfit. Again, this is still for like two, three days. So I don't wanna be in the same thing for like three days. And then I got an Amazon set that buttons down and it's just like pants and a little button up um, for like nursing or whatever. I know it's tan, which isn't like the smartest idea, but I liked it so um but yeah so those are kind of my three or two outfits and then one for going home and then some socks because i'm really weird about like my feet being cold and i like wearing fuzzy socks because they make me feel good um but yeah that's pretty much i think oh and then i have um a portable sound machine because i can't sleep in silence um and so I have a little portable sound machine that was on my registry. So we're going to bring that. Mm -hmm. um, over on the... uh. I'll link it. But yeah, I'm going to bring that. Again, this is just all things that I'm just hoping will either make the time go by faster, make us more comfortable. You. <laughs> yeah, but like in general, just the whole situation. I'm just trying to foresee things that I know would be like frustrating or annoying or uncomfortable and just trying to um, do that. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much, oh, and then we're gonna like have an ice, like a little zip up ice chest thing with some snacks in it, um, just in case. And I'll bring some gum as well. My friend was saying gum. Yeah. Cause you get nauseous. Um, yeah, we'll just bring snacks. If like, we have time to go grab stuff from Trader Joe's or, you know, any grocery store, um, but yeah, that's pretty that's much it, all we're yeah. packing, I think. If you guys have any suggestions, um, mm -hmm. but I think I've pretty much covered all of our bases at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just hopefully it goes well. And look at him, he's huge. And yeah, we took a birth class, so I'll link all of that. Very helpful. Yeah, I the, feel like infant CPR. Infant CPR and, and then like a class. birthing class, which was cool because he got to learn a bunch of ways to help during labor and kind of be involved. Um, we don't have a doula. We it's just us and then our doctor and nurses. So we kind of we weren't really sure if we were going to do a class, and then we end up doing it and really really happy yeah, about highly that. Recommend. Yeah, just so that like I feel like everyone kind of knows their roles and where you can be helpful and where you shouldn't. Like a lot of the stuff we would do, like he would you know they would be like oh yeah rub her back and then they would be like, well, does she like that? Cause some people like stuff. I don't like to be like caressed and like lightly touched. I want to be like pushed on. So it's like good to know ahead of time where he should like do stuff or not. Cause in the moment, you know, you don't want to be rude or whatever. So it's good to kind of like discuss a lot of that stuff that you don't really know is going to be happening. So she'll be like, yeah, this could be happening. How do you want your partner to help or not help or like leave you alone or help so yeah. it was cool to kind of do all that and learn some techniques and kind of just well, see just the whole goes for the timeline of like like how it all goes yeah like <laughs> contractions and labor and all that stuff actively when to go to the hospital he, yeah. he watched the birth i could not so they showed a couple <laughs> births so i like i just i don't really want to know um but yeah pretty cool um i'm excited yeah. I'm nervous <laughs> um don't really want to give birth, but it's going to happen. So he's got to come out, but I'm excited to meet him. Yeah, and, very excited. <laughs> yeah, and see all the cats with him and just like be home see and be cozy. Him. Yeah, oh my God, I'm going to cry if I think about us. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh, but anyways, so that's, I mean, this is, I guess, going to be more like one of our last vlogs about him before he's here. Oh God, because it could be any day now. Are you crying? Don't cry. I'm the one who cries on YouTube. What? What? Oh god, you're gonna get me going. I'm just it's just like I mean, it's one of the last ones of just us, you know? Yeah. It'll be okay. Oh no, <laughs> no you got me just... going. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't look at me. Yeah, I think that's it. As ready as we We're can excited. be. We're <laughs> excited.
we're excited. We can do this. Um, yeah. yeah we're, I have no doubt about that. Yeah. It just, we're also like, it's like the longest waiting period of your life. You feel like is like waiting for them to come because you're excited but then you're like sad because it's like like the other day we were doing stuff and i was like oh it's gonna be like the last couple of days of us just hanging out by yourself at night and like <laughs> you kind of have a lot of those moments i think towards the end of like realizing he's gonna be here because it's so like real yeah oh god so yeah but we're excited a little man little buddy huh mm. Mm. cats are gonna be oh man come on bush are you coming up? Maybe one day he'll, you know, watch this video. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and be like, you guys are embarrassing. Uh. No. Let us see how excited we were to yeah. be. Yeah. Cats are going to be in for a ride. Oh, as far as preparing them, we're just going to bring home a blanket and let them smell it probably before we bring him in or keep him in a separate room and just let them kind of smell some of his stuff. Blake's been playing crying noises and they don't really care. So we're kind of not too worried about that. Um, but yeah. They'll adjust. Yeah, they'll adjust. Yeah. We'll adjust. Can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's it. Good luck if anybody else is on the same road as us. I yeah, know I a lot of people are. Helpful. Hope this is helpful. Um, and yeah, leave any comments or anything else you guys want us to go over before he gets here. Otherwise, I guess we'll do a vlog when he's here on how everything went on our birth story would probably be the next one. So, so yeah, it's gonna Jamie Global Plus One. Yep.